to another episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Today we're going to try something kind of fun. Something, it was a gift from a friend of mine. It was, uh, it's called, um, Mugund. As, as usual, I have a pair of scissors. As usual, there'll be a fun little graphic over here telling you exactly what Mudgund is. Um, the, the, the greatest thing about this package of, of Mudgund, and again, you'll see a closer version of the label here, is I think it's made by the Tink Hua Kua Viet Company. And their, uh, their slogan is, the cream of Vietnamese gifts. Mmm, fortunately it's not a bag of cream. Uh, what I actually think it might be is some kind of ginger chip. Uh, it's in a, it's actually in a sealed bag, which is nice, which is better than usual when it's going to like a taped up open bag. As you saw earlier, I had a pair of scissors to open these up a little bit better. We're in a, a new space for now, it's, uh, and I don't have the table in front of me, so I have to keep everything in my pocket. So, let's try opening these, uh, mutt gunned. Oh, oh, there, it says in the bottom, small print. Again, you'll see it here. Candied sugar ginger. The smell is a little strong. It, <coughs> it is pungent. It kind of smells soapy. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm a little afraid of trying these because this definitely looks like real ginger and real ginger is quite powerful. Uh, generally, hopefully the candiedness will take out the, you know, extreme ginger flavor. The other thing is, I'm not sure if this is actually how you're supposed to eat uh, candied uh, sugar Ginger, candied sugar ginger, that's, that's saying it twice. If it's candied, it's got sugar, isn't that? Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to eat them. If you're just supposed to eat them, or you, maybe you put them in tea, maybe that's what you're supposed to do with them. I don't know. But uh, because this is called Chris, why would you eat that? I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna eat that, so. Oh, great. I seem to have pulled out a rather large one. That's... It's a little hot. It's not too bad. The candy actually takes down the heat. You get these like little sort of brief bits of heat, but it also does not taste good. It kind of tastes like soap, and that's not a pleasant thing to eat. I, I will certainly not be eating this entire bag of uh, mut gong, uh, even if it is the cream of Vietnamese gifts. Um, this was given as a gift to me. I'm kind of now wishing I had a bag of cream instead, because that might have been more pleasant, even though it's been sitting in my cupboard for several months. It's, it's not awful. It's not so awful that I want to spit it out, because it, it, that you don't get that burniness, but it, it tastes the way it smells, which is kind of like soap. Yeah, it's not, not, not pleasant at all. Um, well, thanks for watching another episode of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Um, as always, you can follow us, uh, go to candycritic.org and you can find links to our social media, or if you want to go straight to Twitter, at Candy Critic, or you can go to www.candycritic.org slash junk food, and find links to all of our other podcasts, as well as past episodes of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? Uh, also, make sure to you know, go below, click subscribe, you know, follow us, do whatever you can, comment if you like. Have you tried Mutt Gun before? Would you disagree that it's not uh, kind of disgusting, but not horrible? It's up to you. Uh, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.